Hello everyone. So there are a lot of doubts coming out for Infosys. So in this video, I will be talking about Infosys hiring 2025. And uh, first of all, I just want to say this that uh, some candidates of 2024 batch also got the mail that confirms that this hiring was a off campus hiring because as I said earlier that for 2024 batch, please register in this drive because we never know. We are saying the, uh, the associate colleges will be getting the mail. But for 2024 batch, there is nothing. There is nothing related to the colleges. That's why I posted the hiring. I said, please do apply. And now we can see some candidates from 2024 batch is also getting the mail. From 2025 batch, also some candidates who did not have any kind of association from the college, they are also getting the mail. So this is a, a important thing that, uh, and I am happy that you guys registered for this, okay? Because officially, if I will put on the channel that please register for 2025 batch, there are so many people, there are around, they will say, hey, why you posted this hiring? It is on campus, so that, and this, this, that, 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 so that's why I said unofficially that please register for this okay then talking about the Infosys mail this kind of mail uh, students got okay so Infosys fresher recruitment dear candidate greetings from uh, Infosys this kind of mail I hope you guys got okay instructions are cl clearly mentioned which I discussed already yesterday uh, in my video which you can check on Praful Sharma channel okay Praful Sharma channel you will get the channel link in the description make sure to subscribe that channel because uh, many times we post the updates on that channel itself so make sure to subscribe that channel so uh, yesterday i discussed about the instructions and everything in that video uh, in this video uh, i will be talking about first of all the most important doubt if you have not received the mail the mail will be in the phases or not okay so uh, i can talk about last year last year i can talk about so last year actually infosys conducted two exams total two exams means two phases okay of the exams so and uh, the exams were in the gap of around four days okay around four days so suppose if we talk about this year so there is one date which is 13th of july according to last year they conducted total two phases so we can say 13th of july or maybe uh, uh, 16th, 17th of July, but this year will they conduct two phases? It is, uh, uh, I cannot say uh, uh, it is possible or not possible. It is very less chance. It has very less chance that it uh, in this year they can conduct multiple phases because uh, last year the situation was a little bit different and this year the situation is a little bit different. This year uh, actually many people got the mails in the first phase itself and they do a lot of shortlisting, uh, a lot of shortlisting but but after doing a lot of shortlisting also many candidates got the mail this year so uh maybe there can be only one phase but yes according to the last year they have total two phases and we cannot say if they will conduct more phases or not because uh, it is it is very uh, uh, situational okay also some students got the mail around for uh, uh, around 6 pm uh, yesterday okay around 6 uh, pm in the evening yesterday and i just want to talk about this also that some candidates got the mail around 10 pm also so uh, it was not like that they are all uh, they, they are sending the mail at the same time but some candidates at the night also uh, got the mail okay so this is a good thing that uh, they sent uh, the mail to the some students in the night itself and uh, that's a good thing but uh, yes we can expect the second phase but chances can be less uh, because this year i am not getting the feeling that maybe we will having the second phase it is not a fact it's just a feeling which uh, i can express okay talking about the exact pattern there will be total uh, Okay, so one thing I just want to talk about in this phases matter or not. Some candidates are asking, will there be shortlisting or not? Okay, because we did not receive the uh, mail. So I just want to tell you guys. So if uh, if we say that uh, suppose one lakh candidates registered for this, okay, one lakh candidate registered for this. Let's assume that. Okay, then just just I want to tell this only 50% will get the mails. Okay, because generally the ratio of the shortlisting in the colleges also. 50% for Infosys like they all uh, they uh, on the basis of the resumes on the basis of the details with they uh, remove the 50% candidates almost okay most of the times they do a lot of shortlisting so yes if you did not receive the mail and if you will not receive the mail by next week if they will conduct the second phase or if you have not received the mail yet there is a lot of chances that you got rejected there can be the chances that you got rejected if there will be the ne next phase, that is a very good thing. But yes, actually many candidates got the mail. And yes, this is also true. 
they do not have a policy like TCS that they will send mail to each and everyone who will register. Like if you will register in TCS NQT, they will send mail to everyone. But in Infosys, there is nothing up. Uh, there is no policy like that. If you will register, there is there is a hardcore shortlisting process. They will shortlist you based on your resume, basic on uh, basis on your details and basis on everything. Okay. Because there is a uh, there is a one thing that this is this is for the role of SP and DSC, which is a higher role in Infosys. When we talk about systems engineer, systems engineer, they are not hiring for system engineer off campus uh, since year 2021. But for system engineer process, there is no shortlisting in Infosys like TCS. But they are not hiring for system engineer position off campus since 2021. Uh, but there is no shortlisting for SP and DSC role. There is always a shortlisting process, and they shortlist very, uh, uh, very, uh, 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 you can say, uh, very skillful candidates because. It's a higher uh, process and the pay package is good. Okay. Exact pattern includes three coding questions. There is nothing apart from the coding question, only three coding questions. Okay. And uh, there will be three hours. First of all, some candidates are saying there will be easy question, medi medium question and hard question. Nothing like that. Even their easy question is medium and hard question. Okay. Even their medium question is hard question and the hard question is very hard question. Okay. <laughs> so don't expect any easy question. There will be medium questions only medium to hard questions. Okay. And uh, you can expect uh, obviously there are three hours for three coding question. The level will be very, very, very high, very high level of coding questions will be asked there okay and uh, uh actually uh, uh last year if i talk about last year what some candidates did is uh, when they uh, if their coding preparation is not good when they opened the test and they started the test after some time they closed the test within 10 to 20 minutes because they just saw the test they saw the level of the question they said this is not my baski bath okay i cannot do this so they just said this okay last year and I am not, uh, I am not saying this, just say you are scared, but I am just telling you the actual fact. The coding question level is very, very high. Okay, very, very high. Okay, I am just telling this in the prior. Just say you don't want to get into it. So, uh, talking about the coding question, there will be the coding questions from Code Forces almost. Uh, 1500 plus rating questions. So, uh, Code Forces is the coding platform, very famous for the competitive programming. Most of the questions which they ask are like Code Forces, especially in Infosys, SP and DSE role. And 1500 plus rating questions you can practice for... Uh, the Infosys exam because most of the question which you will be getting uh, will be, would be around this rating only. Okay, most important topic is dynamic programming. If I talk about last year, so they asked two coding question out of three. They asked two coding questions from dynamic programming only last year set. Okay, and one question they asked from array. Okay, array algorithm. Uh, something related to ZOR algorithm okay and uh, uh, like ZOR operation and two coding questions were there from dynamic programming directly so dynamic programming is a topic which is very 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 important in Infosys ex uh, SP exam almost each and every time they ask uh, the questions from dynamic programming so DP is one of the most important topic uh, in SP exam make sure that uh, you prepare very very good in DP second is array strings and mathematics you can say mathematics questions they ask okay mathematics algorithm question not quant mathematics algorithm questions okay arrays strings mathematics algo graph is very very important and please read about other topics also but priority wise i just said uh, four topics because these four topics which uh, what i am noticing in the previous years they are asking most of the questions from dynamic programming array strings and graphs only and this is the most important topics for uh, uh, for uh, SP and DSC role, okay, and questions 1500 plus rated code forces, okay. Talking about cutoff, cutoff is easily 2 and 2 plus, 2 and 2 plus. So if you will able to solve two coding questions, or you will be able to solve two plus coding question, very high chance to getting the interview call, okay, either for DSC or for SP, okay. So the shortlisting of the role is based uh, on the uh, coding questions, how many coding questions you are solving. If you able to solve two coding question or two plus coding question, it is a very, very good score. You will get either DSE or SP profile. The difference is uh, between, uh, um, between these uh, both profiles. So for DSE, you will be 
getting the package of around 7 LPA and for SP you will be getting the package around 9, 10 LPA. Okay, so this is the basic difference which you will be getting. Okay, uh, the package's basic differentiation is the package only. Interview is also DSA focused, DSA based hard interview. Okay, interview is also DSA based. So basically if you don't know DSA, there is no point to actually give the uh, uh, exam through cheating. Okay, if you will cheat an exam also, you cannot clear the interview and you will uh, go to uh, you need to go to the interview in person so there is no point to do the cheating is it a mass drive so i just want to say this uh, you can expect around uh, 40 to 50k students will be giving this exam okay so yesterday also many candidates got the mail okay expect 40 to 50k candidates will be would be giving the exam generally the number of positions for infosys sp and dsc role if we talk about the last year so uh, my some friends also got selected and uh, when i talk about the new onboarding batch because they all got the onboarding almost at the same time so the number was around 3 to 5k okay so 3 to 5k was the number so if you consider this as a mass hiring or not i don't know but yes i would say it's a very big drive because 5k is also not a short number 5k numbers in the recent time uh, you you cannot say in any company right if we see about tcs so tcs is hiring for around 40 50k people right and after tcs i think it will be one of the biggest number uh, accenture or tech mandra also hires in uh, particularly more than 10k plus positions but yeah it is a big number it you can say uh, this is the number uh, 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 around same as deloitte nla okay deloitte nla so deloitte nla also hires around 5 to 10k people right so it's a good number you can say so generally between 3 to 5k or 5k students they hire particularly each year so I can say it's a good number. Okay. Then talking about how to get SP or DSC role. So uh, first of all, as I talk about, suppose there is around 50k students are giving this exam, which would be a expected number. And suppose uh, there is uh, a total 3k up. We will take the lower bond. Okay. 3k. So if you can see here, there, there is a selection ratio of 7 to 8% or 9%. You can say, okay. So around, around these many people, uh, uh, these many people will be getting the selection. Uh, so if you will giving the exam, I just want to say after the assessment, only 20 to 25% people get the interview chance. Okay. Because the assessment is very, very hard. Okay. Very, very hard. Only 20% you can consider because they would be able to cross uh, two or two or two and a half questions okay so 20 percent you can consider so for uh, 15k people around 10k would be going for the interviews and with the 10k only 5k would be getting the selection or 4k or 3k would be getting the selection so this will be the thing the most difficult part is assessment only because almost 80 85 percent candidates would be getting rejected in assessment only so for getting sp and dsc role the most important part is assessment only in which you need to perform very good you need to perform two or two plus coding questions okay so this would, uh, would be all the things which i want to tell you thank you so much for watching i will be making the videos for coding questions also thank you so much